how's it going guys? You look amazing today and you are amazing and welcome to student pilot TV number 13. <laughs> subscribe so you don't miss a tip on getting into aviation Ta -da! so today as request a long time ago some mistakes that can be made in a cockpit we're just going to talk about general aviation airplanes and how to correct for them first i would say is forget to do the checklist this happened to me a lot when i started training i always forgot my checklist when i'm going to start descent it's best to do the checklist in the flow so it's easier if you always forgot then you can just there's a yoke clip and then you can put your checklist on the yoke clip so you can always see the checklist is there and you can do it and also i'm just going to talk about a few things that i experienced and i don't know every mistake so if you have any other situations and you can comment below so i can know as well too Forget to look outside when you're doing VFR flight. So most of the training you'll be doing in VFR condition, except for your instrument training. But most of the time you'll be in VFR condition and sometimes there's like scattered clouds. So when you're climbing and just fixated on your instrument and then you hit the cloud and then you fail. You should level off before you reach the cloud or you just like turn away. You should look outside to see where's the cloud. One time I hit the cloud and my instructor was like, you do this in your check right, you failed immediately. So remember to look outside, don't just look on the instrument and also look outside to keep your heading and your altitude is also easier um, when you do the maneuvers. And keep a good distance from the cloud. Three. Climb with full power. Um, when I first started flying, I feel like if I could go full power, the engine is like mm, so loud and I'm scared. So you don't want to just put a little bit in and then pitch up, otherwise your airspeed is going to be very slow. You don't climb with partial power. Four. Forget to bring your charts, your chart supplement. This time during private, I'm practicing divert and I didn't bring my chart supplement. So I diverted to an airport which on the chart it didn't say the runway so I don't know which runway they are using and if you don't have chart supplement then you don't know which runway they are using you must overfly the field you need to know which runway they have before you arrive at that airport so just bring everything you have on board everything prepared because you don't know what you'll need to use during the flight 5. is holding the yoke too tight this happened to me when I'm in like windy condition I hold it too tight and I just over control the airplane I keep moving it and then when my instructor took over he just like and I hold it there and the plane was so so stable so you don't need to hold the yoke so tight and also you don't need to keep correct for the mistakes you just correct a little bit and hold it there for a while and see what the airplane is doing if you need more correction then you do it a little bit again and hold it there so yeah I think that one is a big one that I learned so that's it! These are the 5 mistakes that are easily made in the cockpit I made in the cockpit I hope you guys like this video and I hope this video helped a little bit If you like this video, please give a like and give it a subscribe Follow me on my Instagram And I will see you and your amazing self